Rest is important. I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. Ironically, however, not everybody gets enough. Whether it's trying to balance schoolwork with extracurriculars, multiple jobs, or just unforeseen events. And it's understandable. As we grow up in such a bustling world, it's often hard for us to find time to unplug and just escape from everything. However, finding this balance is very important for both our long-term health and happiness. This lack of rest can often cause stress, anxiety, headaches, and even depression. After a while, it'll make your life a living hell, making your workload feel even worse. But am I saying to just drop everything and take a 12 hour nap? As good as that would feel, no, cause the consequences would most likely be dire. What I'm saying is to try your best to find that hole in your schedule to just rest your mind for a little bit. Now what's my definition of rest? Well, really just anything you can do to relax your mind. For example, meditation, taking a walk, or spending time with family. However, the most important form of rest is undeniably sleep. One of the most common factors that can lead to a lack of rest, and more specifically, a lack of sleep, is procrastination, especially if you're in school. Procrastination can be a form of rest, like if you're taking a nap or something. But they're not the same thing. Well, yeah, in that situation you would be resting, you'd also be procrastinating, hurting both yourself and the project you're working on in the long run. Especially if it's not even a nap, if it's just scrolling through your phone all day, putting your work to the side, eh, I'll do it later, that's like the worst type of procrastination and can lead to a bunch of deadline pressure, causing a possible all-nighter. When I was in school, I would procrastinate for sure, but from what I've heard, I've likely done it the least. I didn't have the best grades, but I would still hear stories from my classmates. Uh, dude, I'm so tired. I stayed up all night writing that essay. Like, bro, what were you doing all day? Yeah, I pulled an all-nighter studying that test was still hard. Huh, I wonder why. You probably hear this like everywhere, but six to nine hours of sleep is very important. I'm not going into the science of it because it's common sense, but you'll be more energetic, you'll think more clearly, and you'll be way more productive. Now, I actually used to have a horrible sleeping pattern. What I would do is I would stay up like with my friends on Discord or scrolling till like 2, 3 in the morning, or I would stay up doing schoolwork till 1 a.m. because I played Kingdom Hearts all day. I played Kingdom Hearts a bunch during high school. It ate me up. It took me a long time to fix the sleeping pattern, but I eventually did it, and some things you could do are usually if you watch TV before bed, don't. Shut it off. If you usually scroll before bed, put down the phone. Obviously, don't eat anything before bed. Like, I, I would do this too. I would eat something like sugary or filling at like 11 p.m. and expect to go to bed an hour later. Guess what? It didn't happen. So always avoid sweets before bed. And finally, this is probably the most important part. It's the most helpful. Set a sleep schedule. This is what helped me the most. Set a time before you go to bed, say like 11 o'clock, and set a time to wake up. For example, around 7 or 8. If you're in school, you'd probably set an earlier time, like 9 or 10 p.m. But the point is, a sleep schedule can really help you fix your sleeping routine if you find that you're not getting enough sleep. I don't know your schedule, so just try and find a way to work around it. And if it goes beyond sleep, like if you find yourself just doing nothing but working all day, try and cut some hours. I don't know your situation, but if you have multiple jobs, try your best and find a workaround in or outside of work. If you're in school and you feel like your classes and extracurriculars are piling up and it's just causing so much stress, drop an extracurricular. Again, I don't know your situation, so most of it's up to you, but make sure you find a way to secure this balance, because as with everything else in life, balance between work and rest is crucial. Thanos was on to something. You've gone through a lot. You've faced a lot of battles, both mental and physical, and oftentimes it can be difficult or even scary to find a place of rest, a safe haven. Just remember that if you want to live a happy life, you gotta do what you gotta do. Being active all the time is almost as bad as lying around all the time. Don't be scared to just say, you know what? Today is about me, because you deserve to have a day like that after everything you've been through. Everybody has a different story, and everybody's story has its ups and downs. Life can throw a lot at you, and in order to face it at your strongest, you need to rest up. Thank you so much for getting this far. If you enjoyed, feel free to like or subscribe. If you didn't, comment and tell me what you change. Thank you for watching.